Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another freaking episode here on Ark Survival Ascended. So we are back on Aberration once again. I kinda just wanted to show you guys how far I got with our new base location and uh, bring y'all up to speed a little bit. And also today I kinda wanna go visit the surface but as y'all can see it's like 90% day so and I'm not happening right freaking now. <laughs> but yeah, so I found out that you can actually, where is this thing, use this thing to locate things. Yeah, we've actually found a better Cosmo and also better Basilisk. This was a 140 Basilisk. It only took like two eggs. And yeah, this Cosmo is way better. I'm planning on like combining colors and stuff once I'm happy with the levels. This one has way more webs than the previous one. But yeah, this is our home so far. I hope y'all are ready because it looks a little weird. Yeah, it actually looks a little weird. Um, there we go. We'll just get a good angle. Yeah, it's... It's it's very a uh, weird build. <laughs> it didn't turn out quite as I planned for it, but yeah. It is what it is. So basically it's just like blocks open and then the next floor blocks open. The roof, I combined like these with like a few, um, these window thingies, every few. Can't really see inside too well, but then again we don't have light or anything inside yet. Oh my god. Oh, okay, we hurled ourselves over. Yeah, but yeah, we continued the same pattern on this side as well. We got us a second, um... Though, Dickers, it doesn't really, um... Gather that much stuff, to be honest. But that's okay. I got a Stego, but I haven't really been using it, because I wanted to use it for, um... Thatch, but it doesn't really gather that much thatch, if I'm gonna be honest. So, we're using this guy, which we got as a baby. He actually gathers way more than the other one. We've also been breeding with these guys until we got, like, the same stats on all of them in the same level. So, we can start breeding for mutations on that. Those guys. Hell yeah. Um... Other than that, we've just mostly been breeding and doing stuff. On the inside, it's still quite barren. I still have to add lighting and actual stuff. So far, we just have this housing, most of our crystals and stuff we gathered. And we have the gene. We go up here. Very nice little area with semi-see-through windows. I am still kind of wondering if I should, like, close this bit off or not. I'm not sure yet. Um, and we have a spiral. I was also thinking about adding, like, two spiral staircases. One here, one there. So that, uh, you know, just for aesthetics. But that doesn't leave much room inside. But here, this top side is freaking huge, man. Like four windows back here, and then just a giant freaking ceiling. I'm, I'm still working on closing it off, as you all can see. We're gonna kind of close it and make it into an attic. I don't know what we're gonna put up there yet, but you know, extra space, always good. Then we can kind of see down here towards the entrance of the house. But yeah, yeah, this is just to, um, Put our ladders so that we can actually put the skins on so we kind of put the ladder up here and then go up but since we have cosmo when we actually got to place a few roofs we just grabbed ourselves up to the top and like place the rest of them like that way easier and also the way i actually got to put a lot of the skins on there was actually by using the zeppelin i just parked close to the area i wanted to put the uh the cosmetic bits like up here and then just place them because using Cosmo to do that well, is actually a little hard and I also found out you can actually put um, little 
hats on your Cosmo. So yeah, I go went with this one. It it's my favorite so far. I really like the look. <laughs> kind of fits in my thing. But yeah, guys, I'm just gonna continue on with breeding and um, getting ready. And then once it's 10% day, 90% night, we're gonna head out to the surface. I'm gonna be taking my Glide suit and Cosmo and also my Rock Drake. Yeah, we're gonna go out with the Rock Drake and if I feel like, nah, the Rock Drake isn't really cutting it. I think we're gonna just use our Cosmo to get around with the Glide suit. Like, we don't have enough practice with the Glide suit yet, but I have kind of been getting better with Cosmo, especially with building this area. I've noticed you can do like that whoop yourself and like pull yourself to stop yourself from taking damage and also you can like kind of head up like that and pull out your glide suit oh my. but yeah i haven't had much practice with the glide suit but whatever and if we lose the rock track it's okay because we do have more now We've been braiding them up too Okay, calm the hell down. Those freaking Megalosaurus thingies make a lot of noise. But you have heard, like, the surface area has OP freaking loot. So I kind of want to go out there. I was thinking about maybe just taking this thing and going, but it's so slow, man. Like, seriously, even with the boost, this thing is way too slow. By the time we actually reach the surface... When it's 90% night, it would probably just be like, already too late. <laughs> but yeah, kind of want to see what's out there, you know. We dipped our noses out the other day, you know, after... I wanted to make a second Reaper video, like taming a higher level, but I don't know. The Reapers were completely bugged for some reason. I lost like, what, four high levels, so yeah. But then I went outside to get a better view. And I can't remember if we got... I think we got the pants out of a drop. Yeah. Freaking OP freaking pants. So yeah, like cave drops are pretty good too. Like we found this in a cave drop and we found that in a cave drop. And I can't remember if I found this in that same... Uh, drop outside or down below but you know most most of our clothing and stuff we've gotten from like cave drops and, and from right here oh oh god i hate this this happens so often i just want to get up the freaking rock let me go but like right below the, i wonder can I like oh okay that kind of worked Like, right there, we get drops, we get, like, green drops, we get blue drops, we even get purple drops, and sometimes they have rings on them, which is where we got a lot of our ghillie armor. And I am taking the ghillie armor around with me right now, because of one reason. Let's just put all of that in there. You can hold on to that for me. Yeah, you look nice and dapper. This actually helps for heat resistance, so uh, we can't actually use our main gear too often because it actually burns the crap out of us. <laughs> we need we needed to put more levels into freaking um, fortitude. It's already at sixty one and it's still too hot for us. But yeah, ugh, we ran out of wood again. God damn it collecting a ton of uh, metal because we actually have two ankies now and i found out why i couldn't grab two things at once it was because i was using a mouse saver because after my surgery on my hand i kind of wanted to you know spare my hand the pain so i got the mouse saver mod so that you know basically when you press twice it will continue biting Instead of, you know, you having to click every time like this. But due to that, the cab couldn't do the left one with one claw thing. So yeah, I had to remove that so that we can get more out of it. But yeah guys, I guess I'll just continue breeding my Cosmos and my Megalosauruses and stuff like that. Um, 
Like with these guys, I don't really care about what the mutations are. The main thing is the levels. The levels are the important thing. <laughs> Uh, but with the Megalosaurus, I'm going for either health or um, melee. Because I kind of want to use those guys for the Rockwell fight. I still have to breed my... Uh, a bunch of other things. Like, I want to breed my Basilisks and stuff. But I kind of want to build an area dedicated to that. Because I keep running out of space. Like, I never have space for anything. <laughs> Thing. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in a little bit. I've been rambling on for like 11 minutes already. God damn. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Hello guys. So, should technically be pretty much safe to head outside. I'm actually gonna... I don't know if we turn... Yeah, sure. We'll keep that in case we do need it. So we're gonna be donning our normal armor for this. Oh my god, this is actually freaking scary, dude. Oh, I've not really been out here. But okay, let's get a move on and just start looking for some jobs, I guess. So we're just gonna be bouncing between freaking um, rocks and stuff. There's a Facilisuchus right there. Oh, first one I've seen. It's a very low level though, so... Let's see here. Just gonna jump between these things. I freaking heard something. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna be... Going around... Looking for drops. Oh my goodness, okay. Seems pretty safe so far. It's still early in the morning right now, so maybe that's why. Okay. Don't see any drops yet. Oh my god. Turning with this thing is a little bit weird, I must say. Let's just grab some stem. And Facilisuchus. So this is kind of the perfect time to tame a Facilisuchus. If you're looking to tame one nice in the morning hours. Like it's 7 a.m. We I started heading over here at around 5. I was still breeding and doing a few things. When I saw the time and I was like, oh shit, I need to get to the surface. Oh, there's a drop. Interesting. It doesn't have a little ring. Oh. Freaking aberration levels. Is that thing gonna. Okay, first drop, absolute shite. Go. I'm not even gonna keep any of that. Usually you just grab and go. Yeah, I don't know what's up with this. Um, the mod you guys chose, I just find, find a bunch of random freaking pet wyverns everywhere. And I did not tame a single one of them. I don't even know where they're from, to be honest. Oh? Oh, what's that sound? It is 90% night, so it can't be the sun, right? Oh, there's another one without a ring. And another Facilisuchus right there. Okay, so we kind of aim for that. Jump off. Just grab everything and hold back on. Oh. Okay. Never I you. Yeah, just drop everything. I don't want you to be overburdened. See what I mean? There's another one right freaking there. What the hell? I'm actually just gonna delete all of these as we find them. Very low level. Let's just hop up into the air. Yeah, you just freaking fight, I guess. If you die, you die. Not really a word about the so I'm guessing it's the seekers killing all of the pet wyvern. Cause seriously, look at this. 
my type in pet wyverns i have so many and i don't i i didn't tame a single one they just appeared so i guess it's something that went wrong with the mod maybe okay let's go for this drop first grab anything good nope absolute trash yeah i'm just gonna delete all of the pets i find because we didn't tame them up so you know we can't really be like oh yeah we got this dude it's mine now i can enjoy its boost that would be kind of cheating and lying oh this one hasn't even come down yet. i wonder I'm kind of running out of this. Okay, what do you... Bunch... Of paste. I don't want any of that. Oh my god, I thought the surface drops were supposed to be like OP. I think I see a red drop in the distance. Way back there. Let's see. Go to this blue. Grab. I mean, that's okay, but we already have a better one. We could use that for the glide suit, actually. Let's see, remove. Skin, throw that one away and put that one on this one then. I'm not like... All the time. I mean, it's a red drop with the red grating. This should be... Ooh, oh, oh. Fasilisuka saddle, spino saddle. I'm not gonna keep that. I'll actually take that and I'll take all of that too. Okay, that's a really good compound bow, goddamn. Okay, no, I'll, I'll keep that then. We might actually chuck a bunch of this stuff onto Cosmo to reduce some weight. Okay, yeah, Ewing doesn't help putting that in there. Okay, well, so far, that was the only good drop. That was really good. Well, it was red with the red. So if that one wasn't good, you know, nothing would have been. <laughs> There's actually a lot of rocks and stuff if you are to tame a Facilisuchus. Hmm, it should be quite easy to do that then. Maybe on the next cycle we should come up and look for a better level. That could be a thing. Oh! Oh, oh no! It's getting hot out. Oh, god damn it. Where's the exits like back there? What the hell? We, we didn't even get have that much time out here. And if I take off my. Yeah, it's still hot. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just get the hell out of here then. We barely got anything. Come on, come on. Before the sun complete becomes out, then we're fudged. Okay, okay. Oh god. I see heat waves, that's not good. Time. Yes. There's the entrance right there. And we are safe. God damn it. Cheese. Oh. Uh, no. Oh my god. Kind of looked like we were about to crash. Okay, we're out of there. Jesus. 
Well, that wasn't much of a good haul. We did get a Facelosuka saddle, so we might actually make some bombs and try that the next cycle. We got a really good compound bow. And then we got some of these stuff. God damn it, man. That wasn't much of a healed. Oh, another... Yeah, on our way out there was one suit, but it didn't really have anything inside. Yeah, nothing. God damn it, man. I don't really use the compound bows that often. So it's not that good of a drop. God damn it, what's the time? It's like 11. So it's the start of a new day then. Why is it hot out? That's very confusing. <laughs> but I guess it is what it is. Okay, boink. We're back a base. So we did get um, one mutation for the Megalos. We finally bred up a female Sarko, same level as the male. So that's a very good start. Yeah, I'll just chill. We haven't gotten any higher level Cosmos, though. So, yeah. Oh, I pro- don't- no, can't remember. Yeah, we probably used this in the last episode. The Super Spyglass. We might keep this for a while. I don't know if you guys think it's too much to have this. If we should just use the normal spyglass, but I'm kind of liking using it. Plus, I am gonna need it for when we go after higher level Reaper. So, yeah. I was thinking about maybe taking the Zeppelin down there, but apparently it takes radiation damage. So, we can't really do that now, can we? <laughs> But yeah, we didn't get much of a heal this time. I might go up to the surface a few more times and then next episode I might show off what we got. We didn't really get that much adventure out of it. Kinda mad about that. I don't know, we might... I think I might just put all of this stuff away in our other base for now. And then maybe we can go out once more once it cools down a little bit. I don't freaking know if it will. But yeah. I'm just gonna put this stuff away. There we go. Yeah. That too. Gonna put that probably in here for not. Oh my. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah. Put the stews away. There we go. I might actually let's see. Korea curry, Kalian soup, a simple dish of fresh pork. We might actually take some of this with us. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna go back to the entrance, I guess, and just wait it out. Or we might go and do some other things in the meanwhile, I don't know. We'll see how it gets. <laughs> okay, so... We just paused like three, and it kind of seems like it cooled down a bit. So I guess we can just walk back out then. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. The time seemed a little bit confusing to me. Uh, take that, I guess. Pull all of that out. Let's go. Hmm. I should really look up the times and figure out what the best times are to, like, go out, get in on the cycles and stuff like that. Because, yeah, now I don't know if I'm just going to be out here for a little bit and then it's going to burn me again or what's going on. Because there's still no reaper spawns. I don't know 
Is there like a time they just don't spawn? Or... Hmm. This is all very interesting. <laughs> Looking for jobs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's just go up here and just gain some stam. Dude, turn. Goodness. Yeah, the rock strike sometimes has weird issues with churning. <laughs> there we go, a little bit of stamina. We pumped a bunch of points into stamina on this dude. Are you fighting a Facelisuchus? Well, it's a low level, so if you kill it, good for you. If not, well, I don't really care. Oh, blue drop. Oh, it's still coming down, though. That one's also still coming down. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, how far? Super far. Okay. I guess we can just go in a little bit deeper. Oh, I guess that sound is just like an area thing. Because it did the same thing the last time we were around there. God damn, that's a very scary sound though. Okay, let's just... Oh, there's more in here. Interesting. So to the right is like more of a dead end. And then you get to the left. Oh, it kind of goes into a circle. Okay. What's that? Oh, just another charging station. Okay. Oh. Okay, so there's no red drop so far. These three are still coming down. I guess I'll let this one come down and then we can go check the others. Gosh. The sounds. <laughs> it's almost here. Did I put away? Oh, I didn't put that away the obsidian. God damn it, Dipno. Let's just put that away for now and maybe I'll keep this on me in case it gets hot. It, it, in case it gets really hot so that we can at least just pop that and hopefully ignore it a little bit. Ooh, metal is good. I'm actually not gonna keep this. I'll keep that. Oh. Ooh, the metal is kind of weighing us down by quite a bit though. We might have to drop it. Okay, let's see. Wee! 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 <laughs> I was honestly expecting way more danger. But so far, this has been a walk in the park. Just running on the surface, you know? We. Oh. Okay. Nameless. I don't have a light bit with me. Come on. Okay, just grab this. Okay, no, I don't want... Okay, we should probably just throw all of that out then. I don't want any of that. Oh, what the? Was that what I think it is? Oh my! Holy oh, shit. shows it. Okay, the Reapers are coming out now. This is where it gets super scary. I am. Oh my! Jeez. And. Okay, we might have to skip that one. Holy! 
They are everywhere. <laughs> go up, go up, go up. Grab onto that. There you go. God damn it. Okay, so they definitely spawn down there. What? Oh, here they come. Okay, it's Reaper time, I guess. Oh my god, they literally just spawn everywhere. I just need a little bit of stamina, please. Come on. Come on. There you go. Nope. Dude. Yeah. Don't stop. Just run. Okay, that has not even come in yet. God damn it. Seems like that one's chasing me. Or there's nothing like directly on us right now, so we might just like pop down, grab and run. Right in front of it. Oh my. Okay, we had time. We don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, look at all of those reapers. What the fuck? Yeah, kind of get y'all away from there. Oh no. Can I? Just grab, pull, leave, get on, get on. Oh my god, I think we got a dire bear saddle. Oh, oh god. Uh, dire bear saddle, yep. Okay, grab some. Let's see, do I see any more drops? I hear a bunch of stuff. Lightning wyvern, yeah. There. Okay, okay. I think that was a Facelosuchus. So these little bits, I don't think Reapers spawn on them. So if we want to go back to base, we have to follow that road. Let's see, it's 19. Let's, how late to Facelosuchus level? No, that was a reaper. Level 15. Hey, it's almost down. Can I get a little marker? No. Okay. Oh god. Just grab whatever it is. Okay, okay, okay. Just move out of the goddamn way. Okay. Get on top of there. So I don't think they spawn here. They spawn right around here, though. I don't see any more drops in the direct facility. Kinda wanna try using Cosmo. Oh god. But at the same time, I don't know if that's a good idea. Are they coming for me? So, I think you can kind of use these and put like the important stuff in there, like so. And then when you get to base, you can just retrieve them from like an area. Yeah, the reason I'm doing that is because we might try and use Cosmo a little bit. And I'm gonna with this one. I just gotta want to see if this like works well. Oh my god. Oh shh. Up, up, up. Then we kind of... Oh my. Okay, that didn't go quite as planned. Um. 
Okay, cool. So don't use the jump thing then. Use Cosmo to gain elevation. Grab up and then press spacebar. Jesus Christ. Okay. Woo! That's scary, man. Holy. Okay, okay. Let's just go this way. Oh, this is my first time using that. Oh god, this doesn't seem safe. Just grab, pull yourself up. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay. Up, 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 up. Please, 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 please. And pull, grab. Okay, cool. Jesus. Let go, do that. Okay, we're getting better at that, I think. Jeez. Grab, grab! Oh my god! Holy... That does not feel very good. Can we, like... Okay. I wonder, can we kind of stat- Oh, there's like two drops in each other there. Interesting. Can we like, go down towards the drop and get away with Cosmo? I don't know. Holy- Okay, let's just- Drop down, grab, turn around, run. Okay. Grab. Pull. <laughs> Oh, this is scary, man. Okay, no. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Cosmo, please. Okay, go down. Okay, grab. Up, up, please, please, Cosmo, please, 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 Jesus Christ. Ah! Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Woo! Okay, so using a rock drake might be easier. But I'm not, I can't lie, using the glider is kind of fun. Oh, kind of dangerous. What do we get? Purser. Okay. Oh my god. Grab. Pull, 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 please. Pull, 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 please. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, okay. I think, I think we're good. Oh my god. That's. Kinda wanna go for that drop, but like the time. I don't know if we have the time. Holy shit. Okay. Breathe. Ooh, I kind of forgot to breathe. This seems like a little bit of a safer zone. Okay, just to kind of, you know, save ourselves from losing everything. Let's just pop all of this extra stuff we just got in. I'm going to throw that out and throw that out. Okay, Cosmo, you may carry that and that for me then. Oh, God. And I just do like a whoop, and then a whoop, and then a whoop. Oh. Spit the damn thing. Oh my. Holy shit. Please. Oh god. Yeah. No. Up, 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 up. Okay, yeah, no, I do not feel safe doing this. We might need a little bit more practice. Woo! We are getting better at it, though. I just have to remember not to press freaking uh, shift too quickly. Oh my god. God. Damn, man. 
Uh, I think we're good for now. Jeez, that that was the experience. Whoa. I'm just yeah. I'm just kind of scared. Once it gets more morning, we might have a problem. Kinda want to go for a few more drops, but it's fine. It's fine. I think we should just go home. Oh my god, man. We do that. <laughs> I heard you. Whatever you were. Okay, yeah, we're just getting some practice in with this thing now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that was fear inducing. Holy shit. Alright, yeah, we're gonna grab all our stuff from right there. No, no. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna drop gonna stop it I'm gonna drop the harpoon gun we'll take that and that even that even that sure okay we do have a little bit of space so that's cool oh jeez. so we did get some good stuff out of it oh there's a drop right there let's just go you know lost drop before we end <laughs> <laughs> and splash let's see <laughs> more of that stuff okay whatever <laughs> come on okay guys so we didn't get that bad of a haul and let's give you some capacity I guess let's see in here so we got a 104 Fasalasuka saddle, which is really good. A Spino saddle, a compound bow. We got some uh, Gilly, which is actually kind of worse than what we already have, so I'm just going to throw that out. We got some metal, some obsidian. It's like got a bunch of stews and stuff. I didn't even notice the narcotic. <laughs> Got a dire bear saddle and a parasure saddle. I might tame a parasure, but I'm not sure what we're gonna use the dude for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Put that in there, I guess. Let's see. I don't know. Probably put those. What did I just put away? Oh, crystal. Those in there. Hmm. Go all the batch. Anything I can take out from here. Might I? Okay, we might throw that out then. So we can put that in here. I don't know about the fur leggings, to be honest. I don't know if we're gonna use it, because it's always hot out, so... But yeah, I don't think it was a bad haul overall. <laughs> bad haul overall. <laughs> but yeah, guys, something I do still kind of want to tame. We do want a better Reaper, and also we want... Um, a better roll rat. I want to tame one with the honey we've been gathering. I kind of leave the honey to produce. Oh, it's so dark in here. It's just... Yeah, you do the thing. I just pull honey from here. So that the... Hive doesn't get overwhelmed by stuff. And then we're just gonna take everything once we actually find a good level. And I guess we're gonna tame up, uh, up like that. But yeah. Our first danger escape... Oh, okay. Friggin... Uh, sure. First danger escape run. That was actually fear inducing. Like using a rock drake makes it kind of easier because you can like um, stand on safe spots, kind of guide to where you have to stand, and then just glide directly to in front. 
of the jobs where when you use Cosmo, a lot of things seem to go wrong. And using the glide stick actually needs a ton of practice. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave me a like. Maybe consider subscribing and maybe we can have more adventures with Cosmo. It's actually kind of fun as the little bird just looks at me like, what about me? Like, yeah, you'll, you'll have your turn when we enter the blue zone again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!